laughing dinosaurs. Good morning. I have something in this bag. Do you want to see what it is? You ready? Okay, let's put on our glasses. And can we sing it in silence today? Okay, ready? Silence, so good. Alrighty, let's see what's in this bag. What is that? It's a bee. This is another book about a bee. Remember on Monday we read a book called The Very Greedy Bee? This book is called The Happy Bee. And look at that little bee. It looks so happy, doesn't it? It has a smile. <laughs> So nice. But wait, there, I saw something else was in here. Hmm. Some paper. Interesting. And watercolors. I know a lot of you have watercolors at your house now, right? There's watercolors in this bag. Hmm, what else? A black crayon. Wow, is that it? Yes. Okay. So we are going to read a short book called The Happy Bee. And when we're finished, we are going to do an art project with some watercolors and some paper and a black crayon. And I have a little bit of water right here. You're going to need some water for the watercolors, right? Okay. So let's start with the book and then we can do our art project. Thumbs up. The Happy Bee. Every morning, the little bee flew from flower to flower. Remember, that's like in the other story we read, they drink uh, the nectar and the pollen, eat the pollen from the flowers. So this little bee is flying from flower to flower. <gasps> Hello, Daisy. These are daisies. Goodbye, Daisy. Hello, Rosie. There's roses. Goodbye, Rosie. Ooh, poppies. Hello, Poppy. Goodbye, Poppy. <gasps> lilies. These flowers are called lilies. Hello, Lily. Goodbye, Lily. Sometimes the wind Blue. Do you see the bee? Whoosh. Can you make the sound of the wind? Whoosh. Whoosh. It's been kind of windy at my house. Has it been windy at your house too? Yeah? Look at it. It looks a little windy here. All the leaves are blowing. The um, little bee looks a little maybe surprised or nervous. Sometimes the sun shone. Look at the big the little bee looks happy now. She has a smile again. Sometimes it rained. Do you see the rain coming down? And she's hiding under a leaf so she doesn't get too wet. Did it rain at your house recently? It was raining outside my house recently. Sometimes the sun shone and sometimes it rained all at the same time. Have you ever seen that? When there's sun and at the same time there's rain? Does anyone know what happens? Sometimes, something very special that happens when it rains and there's sun at the same time. Rainbows! Hello, rainbow. Look how beautiful. Have you seen a rainbow before? I have. And that made the little bee very happy. Bzzz. Can you make the sound of the bee? Bzzz. Very good. The end. Thank you 
so much for listening to that story. So today we are going to draw our own bee. So we're going to start, remember, with our paper and a black crayon. If you don't have black, you can use a different color too. Okay, and we are going to draw a picture of a bee. Okay, so to start, we're going to make a circle for the bee's head. Can you make a circle like that? I'm gonna make it a little darker. A circle, there you go. And now we're going to make kind of an oval shape for the bee's body. Can you make an oval shape? Good. Okay, now does anyone know what a bee has behind them? A stinger, that's right. It's a little pointy. That's why we have to be careful with bees. It's a little pointy. So we're gonna make a triangle shape like that for the stinger. And I'm gonna color it in so it'll be black. Can you color yours in too? And let's see. The B needs wings. So we're gonna put some wings on the top. We're gonna go around and around to give two wings like this. Around and around, right? And we're gonna give the bee a face, right? And we've been talking about some different emotions, right? In this story, the bee felt happy most of the time, but when the wind was blowing, remember it looked a little surprised or maybe nervous. So you can draw whatever kind of face you want on the bee. I think I'm gonna make my bee happy. I'm gonna put some eyes and a happy face. I'm gonna give some antenna to the bee, two little lines. And then we need some stripes on our bee, right? So we just have the black right now. So we're gonna make our black stripes and we're gonna leave some space in between for the yellow color, okay? So you can do your stripes all the way across. I'm gonna put it down here so I can do it a little easier. So keep making your stripes all the way across the bee's body, right? So there's our little bee. She has a happy face and her little stinger and wings now we're going to use our watercolors. So you can get your watercolors out like this. And usually bees are yellow and black, right? If you want to make your bee a different color, you can definitely do that. Oh my, it's the first time I'm using this, so it got a little stuck. So remember, when we do watercolors, there's a pattern, right? It's water, paint, paper, right? Water. paint and then it goes on the paper. So first I have my paintbrush, I'm gonna put it in the water and I'm gonna put it in the yellow paint. And then I'm gonna put it on my paper. Can you see that? Just a little yellow coming up. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I need more water, paint, and then I'm gonna put it on my paper. You see it? I'm gonna cover the whole body of the bee. Water, and get some more paint, and then put it on my paper. And you can see that it only shows up where the crayon, um, where there isn't any crayon, right? So it's only making the yellow stripes. It's not covering up the black stripes. Water and paint and paper, right? Yeah, isn't that nice? Okay, so I can't wait to see. You can keep working on yours. Take your time, right? You can even color the wings if you wanna make the wings a different color or the face. You could draw a rainbow or paint a rainbow, right? Like in the story we read, or the different flowers. I'd love to see how your bees turn out, so send me a picture, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, bees. Bye, pink dinosaurs.